That is hilarious. Yeah, I'm here to help, all right? <laughs> it's priceless. It's funny. You know what? It's an inside joke. We'll just say it like that. It's an, it's an inside joke. Touche. 100%. But, promise my one second. Cheers. Cheers. Dilly dilly. <laughs> dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. <laughs> promise mango. Now, this is special. Because not only are we having the NC Brew Crew, we're also going to shoot the pop up podcast at the same time. Two for one. And the only reason we're doing this. It's because of this young gentleman right here. Appreciate he reached out to me and said, hey, promise, I got to be on your podcast. Oh, yeah, come on, you do this. Then he said, hey, promise, I want to drink a beer on the show. What? What? Well, let's do it. There ain't no other way to do it. So, And mm-hmm. we had to come out here to prayer. Am I saying that right? Prayer. It's it's if you don't know what this is, it's in Greensboro. It's it's, it's at the edge of um where the grasshoppers play. Awesome little brewery, awesome little brewery. Had their beer down at the first annual Untapped Fest. Great beer, great beer. They have some really great beer, great beer. But we are going to do both of these at the same time. So first off, we have the flight. Look at that flight, y'all. We drink it. We got the flight. And, <laughs> if you saw, we both got pints. Cheers. So when we're talking about marketing, and I'm going to rate these beers. So let's get into it. Go ahead and let everybody know who you are, what you do, and how you do it. 100%. Well, first of all, I'm honored and humbled to be a part of the North Carolina Brew Crew. I first met Promise at a Whiskey Hustle networking event. Shout out to uh, Hustle WS. Double salute. Underscore WS. You know it. Double salute to you guys. Um, my name, my government name is Francis, but all my friends call me Chives. I am the CEO of Dream U Event Park Planning and Marketing. So I do anything as far as event planning and we do marketing as well. Building brands and building companies' brands on social media. Hey, we out here. We work we really working. And why are we working? And why are we drinking a little bit? Because it's G <laughs> if, if, if you see me in this same shirt, guess what? It's not because I wore the same shirt 17 times. It's because I had 27 different interviews down at Everything Black 365. I was up ever since 6 o'clock this morning. Took the bus from Winston over here to get here by 8 o'clock. Helped set up. Got some stuff done. Did 27 interviews. And then got here so we can do these interviews. And then I have to leave and go to Fat Tuesdays for another round of interviews. So this dude hustles. Okay? I, I just... You, you think my day is busy. Guess what? It has nothing compared to him. He he is taking care of people and taking care of their brands and getting them to that next level. He has to leave here because he has another meeting. Okay, we out here. So, how did you get started? Short version or long version? (laughs) Well, with this in my hand, I think a long version can suffice. (laughs) Touche, touche. So I've been an entrepreneur for over 10 years. Um, my journey in entrepreneurship started in 2008. Um, short version is I was throwing house parties at my house, my apartment at the time, through eight house parties, through eight. A good friend of mine came to me and said, look, uh, you, you're good at this house party thing. Let's start a marketing firm. Um, so we started a marketing firm in 2008 called the CEO's. So we started throwing parties at Bentley's, which is now Lux. At, uh, That's what it's called. Okay. Nope. Somebody had a story about about Lux. It was like, it was an awesome night, blah, 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 but it was called something else before. Bentley's. That's what it's called. Great. Excellent. Things are coming together. Continue the story. <laughs> Touche. 
So uh, we started the CEOs, and we had um, different people at different schools. So we had a GTCC, we had Bennett College, of course we had our Aggies A and T, we had uh, Winston State Salem College. We had representatives of each school, so the team was like fifty-five team members, and I had to micromanage all of them. So we did that for like two years, killing the game. Us and undergrads were at Lotus at the time. We're killing the game. Um, we threw parties at uh, CIAA in Charlotte mm-hmm. off of Billy Graham. And uh, I love doing a party game, man. But there was a lot of logistics and analytics to it. So uh, we, we had to link up with Mozik at uh, A&T. We had to link up. You know, Mozik at Winston State and Couture at A&T. Had to network with uh, graphic designers. Had to uh, provide transportation. It was a lot of work. And um, I wasn't seeing the fruits of my labor. But it was the foundation of my marketing um, learning how to run a company. So I left the party game for a little while. Say that again, because I don't think a lot of, a lot of people who want to get into this game think it's a quick buck, I can do it, and boom. You found out that that ain't the case. Just like I'm finding out, hey, it ain't the case when it comes to this podcast stuff. There's a whole lot more in there. It looks fine. But guess what? It's work. And like you said, the fruits of your labor don't match up sometimes. Most times. I tell people all the time, entrepreneurship is the most gratifying, hardest thing you'll ever do in your life. Uh, the gratification part is saying that you're a business owner or entrepreneur, you're a hustler. But they don't see the the time and effort that people like us put into it. No. Because it's a lot of work. I mean, this dude, I thought I was busy, but 26 in one day okay. is uh, phenomenal. Had to Light work. <laughs> Light work. Light nothing. work. <laughs> For y'all that's not hustling enough, get in the weight room, be out here building your brand. <laughs> For real. For real. Always doing stuff. And and, and and one of the things you have to do or figure out is when certain things don't go right, don't let it fluster you. You can have all the numbers, the everything down, and and stuff just doesn't work. You have to learn how to pivot. This man did. 100%. Consist- like how did you, you pivot? Uh, consistency is the key, man. Um, you got to be multi, multi-faceted and multi-talented. So uh, going back to the story, mm-hmm. um, finishing that up before we jump to something else. Oh, yeah. One thing I realized when we get back to this story is fear is what, hold every, is what holds everyone's, everyone back from doing something. Gotcha. And I was telling my mother-in-law, Constance, <laughs> the other day, people will put their fears on you. Just because I learned this from Jay-Z, just because you can't do it, that doesn't mean I can't do it. So they'll tell you, look, promise, you you know, you can't do this. You know, so fear is what holds a lot of people back. But as an entrepreneur, you learn how to hear no's and navigate past no's and a lot, lot, of, lot, lot through fear or whatever. A lot of people, if you, I don't know if I showed, no, I have shared this recently. For almost two months now, my car got repoed. A lot of people has been like, promise, how can you get around without a car? How can you do this? Blah, blah, blah. You can't do this. I've done more work in two months, mm. been invited to more places, mm. and figured it out. Because, like, just, just picking back off of what you said, they're like, it's a fear of, like, oh, you're not mobile or whatever. I found a way to get it done. And that's what true entrepreneurs do. Let's, like, dr- let's drink to that. We got to drink to that. <laughs> we, well, you know what? Mine is gone. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so, you know what that means? We're going. Hopefully, you put a pin where, where we're talking about. So, now, that means I have to go and get into the beer review stuff first. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. So, <laughs> this is what it is. If you don't know, we have four beers you want to taste. This is a flight list. Wait, let's see if we can get there. Boom. Barrel, barrel, oh, bourbon barrel aged pumpkin stout. Bachelor Oktoberfest. I believe that's what you have. Mm-hmm. The lobster port, Lunsford Porter. Mm-hmm. And Lewis and Crunk. Mm-hmm. I don't know what all these beers are. But guess what? You can look them up at prayerbrewingcompany.com. You can look them up there. 
but we're going to rate these beers. So I'm going to taste one, and then we'll get back into the story. So I think the first one, you know what? I'm going to go light to dark. So I'm going to taste the Lewis and Crunk first. Now, I like that color. Real, excuse me, reddish ambery color. I like the bubbles still coming up on it. I think that means it's going to be a really good carbonation. Let me get into a smell test real quick. All right. Got to smell it. Got to smell it. Smell a little bit of cranberry. Just a little bit. Light. But I think that's all I can smell. And you already know what we're about to do. Taste. But first you said cheers to the last thing. Now we can do the cheers. Touché. Let's get into it. That's good. That is good. The tartness of it. That is good. Heard from him first. Wow. That is good. I like that. It's light. It's it's, it's pretty good for fall. Okay. Yeah, I like. I could see it almost being like a little bit of a cranberry sauce type deal. That's what I'm saying. Like the little tartness of it. Okay. That's good. So I'm gonna rate this a three point five. Three point five out of what? five. Out of five. Okay. Three point five out of five. That's a, that's solid. That's solid. So it's solid. Yeah, I like that. It's real nice. That's nice. Mm. That's a good score right there. Pretty good score. Let's get back into the stories though. So college that happens took some time off. Yes, sir. Repivoted or pivoted. Hundred percent. Change angles. And then what? So I always knew that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I always wanted to, I always knew I wanted to do entrepreneurship. And the one thing that drove me to that is I wanted to be my own boss. Have mm-hmm. you ever been in a situation where you try to tell people telling you what to do? And it's like, you, you, you know, you're smart enough to do something, but you want to be your own boss. In but, what form of life? In what part of life, I should say? Adulthood. Nah, 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 nah. Ooh. For kids out there. You know, no, you, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about... Like, my girl still tells me what to do. Oh. So. Uh, yeah, man, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> so, being a boss, you, you're a boss in your business. In my business. There you go. Uh, and, and, I, was trying, I was trying to get there. There we go. At my, you're a boss in your business. <laughs> 100%. 100%. Happy wife, happy life. There you go. If mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy in the house. There you go. I'm going to tell you that right now. So, yeah. <laughs> Moving forward. <laughs> I was, uh, like, as soon as you say that, I said, oh, hold up, brother. <laughs> Let's not say all that now. 100%, 100%. Shout out to my wife, anyway. She's at work right now. Felicia, love you. <laughs> Moving forward. So, um, getting back to the, the heart and the desire, I failed at the time I was considering failing at my first stint of entrepreneurship, which was the CEO's marketing firm. Shout out to the CEO. We're doing a reunion next year, by the way. And a couple years they went by, and I started to do network marketing. So, with that being said, if you want to know what network marketing, you're talking about Amway's, um, uh, um, what's that, what's the group, uh, what is it called, um, um Herbalife, yep. um, other little different, uh, networking type of, um, marketing type of agencies out there, I should say. Yep. So I tried that. The name of the company at the time was um, uh, World Ventures. Gotcha. So I went to, I went to do World Ventures for a little while because I like the concept of traveling. Um, now, what I did learn from World Ventures is consultations, how to do consultations, how to do one-on-ones with people and how to articulate and talk to people one-on-one doing consultations, so how to build that. Gotcha. But once again, I wasn't seeing the fruits of my labor because I'm setting up time and hours, trying to get people in, and it was very, very hard. So I said, you know what? This is not for me. So second stint of failing at something, right? Hey. It happens. It, uh, who's on? Got to pick myself back up. Hey. <laughs> who's on? So then moving forward, uh, 25. I'm like 25. Um, so I started reading a stock market book. Because okay. I was like, look, stock market is lucrative. People mm-hmm. talk about it all the time. I don't know how to do it. So let me figure out a way. Picked up the stock market book, and it changed my life. It changed my perspective on things because I realized the system, you're getting played by the system. You're doing the stock market inadvertently with your job and your 401K, but you just don't know how to play the game. 
So I learned how to play the game. So I've been investing in the stock market for quite a while now. Um, that's great. But I wanted to take another opportunity at entrepreneurship. So I got drugged back in the party game again, throwing parties at Big Winston Lounge downtown. They drug me back in. Shouts out to Sporty it, Orty. It, 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 it bites you. And once the entrepreneurship bug bites you, it don't matter what you do. It all it, it always just be pecking at you. Like a woody woodpecker. It does. And you got to get back in. Because you found something, okay, I, I can get my uh, home life straight. Let me see about doing this again. So you back in the game. Then what happens? I take one more swing. Uh-huh. And uh, we did one party. It was called a pregame. And it was for one Sam State homecoming. Let me give you the lineup. I had Roxy from 102. I had Sporty Order from Charlotte, who uh, ba- was an ambassador, ambassador of Doucet, has his own bar down in Charlotte. Um, we had um, another young lady, Yana, and uh, we killed it. It was called a pregame. I think I remember. What year was that? Uh, this, is, this is 2019. This is like 2017, 16, we're around there. I think 17. Yep. I think I remember seeing that, that post on Instagram. Super, super dope. So then... Um, the club owner calls you back that Monday. It was like, you guys killed it. Come back. I throw some more parties, and I end up actually managing the club. So then I, I get into the point where I'm networking to these event centers and these clubs. I end up throwing a party at the Dash Stadium. Not one, but two at a baseball field. At a baseball field. So that was Friends too. the one I did the baseball field. So then I was like, you know what? I need to get legit. Like, I'm doing all this, but I need to get LLC. So fast forwarding, um, I got LLC, and I started Dream U Event Planning and Market, uh, Marketing August 30th, 2018. So that is my entrepreneur short version of my story. Hey. Man, killed it. Killing it. Killing it. 100%. I don't think y'all really understand. This, 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 is, this is what happens. You get down. Get knocked down, and you gotta fi- figure it out. Pivot. If this don't work, pivot. A lot of people think, "Oh well, God didn't just get a job and boom, boom." He understands. He knows. Nope. It ain't gonna happen. I'm gonna figure it out. Hundred percent. That's that's it. Hey man, that's so good. We gotta try the second beer. Sounds we're, like we're back. We're back at it again. We're back, we're at, back again. at it. We're back at it again. Lunch, Lunchford Porter, second one. Now you already know what Porter looks like. Look at that, that rich, rich dark amber color. I like the bubbles right here. Mm-hmm. I really like that. Let's give it a smell. <laughs> it almost smells a little sour. Wow. It was a little sour, but I don't know what it's going to taste like, so let's give it a taste. Okay, last one was 3.5. What we got? Drum roll. That's nice. That's damn nice. That is good. That is good. The, malty note, the maltiness of it is good. Oh, it's 3.5 too. 3.5. 3.5. Now, they're good. Like, these are good beers. And I'm, I know I'm getting more difficult on my rating systems. But 3.5 is really good. I like that. So, another time. 3.5. Hmm. So, you got the short version of the story. So, what's the future looking like for Dream U? What's, what's the future looking like? Because if you... Because after you throw parties at a dash stadium, you know, the place where I was, I think about three months ago, at MVP Fest, when they had 20 breweries or 25 breweries out there. Bruh. Bruh. Amazing. Amazing. They're doing it. So what's the future for you? Now, that's that's that's, that's a good question. Um, I'm going to give you a two-part answer. So cool. we're going to fast forward after August 30th, what we've done since then. So um, then I get back to what's the future because it's like so much. Gotcha. So after August 30th, 
we come up with a business plan and we start putting our logo, Dream You, on shirts. So we start putting them on shirts. Can you say, Mark, that? I, we're in the process. There you go. All right. As long as you're in the process. I'm just asking. Yes, yes, yes. Trust yes. me. It is important. Business. Thank you. Some, some Somebody's going to, if they like it, and they know you ain't did it. You're right. It happens. It's still that name, and then it's gonna be a trouble. It's gonna be a. It's gonna be a. But 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 the logo itself is still. Okay. Hundred trademark. But You're right. Keep going with the story. Good knowledge. Pete game. So um, boom. So we put we put the logo on shirts, and the shirts just took off like a firecracker. Just yeah. Guns blazing. We end up selling shirts in um Belize, uh New York, Peoria, Illinois, Virginia Beach, Wilmington. Um, don't forget some more places, Japan, and it was like, yo, this is working. So what happened was in the first year of business of Dreamy, we had to find out the formula. What is the formula for success? So yeah. We had to try different things. So is it just because people like the the logo? Is it because you didn't really put out this is what Dream You stands for, or whatever? It was just kind of like Dream You, and people just gravitated towards that. Like how how did or did you, know, did you have the playing in the market the under there? It, or was it, it was a lot of thought into it, and I say that because um, okay. he's going to put the logo up later on. But the, um, right the, here, the, the, um, the inside the logo is like a, a moon shaped in there, uh-huh. and people don't realize the Greek guy Morpheus comes to visit you at night. So that's where the dreaming part comes from. Gotcha. And then the wings is the is the Greek guy Morpheus because um, he had wings like kind of like Hermes. Gotcha. Um, the event planning side is what we actually do. Which is baby showers, weddings, sweet sixteens, uh, charity events. We have a charity event coming up. We do it all, and then the marketing side is the marketing clients on social media. Gotcha. And then what we what we did with the merchandise is if you support Dream U, we have merchandise. So, like I said, we start off with the shirts. And now we have earrings, we have pins, we have um, earrings, pins, and shirts. Pretty much gotcha. our merch. So the merch, yeah. So the merch game is just merch, and then people buy it. like that's the support. But the main focus is what you can provide yes. for your client or whatever they're doing. Hundred percent. There you go. Hundred percent. So it was more so like if you support me, instead you buy a Doce, say you buy a Polo, support Dream You. Gotcha. You know, so that's where that premise came from. Gotcha. Um, and then fast forward, we started doing baby showers. So we did a baby shower in Raleigh because Dream U was willing to travel. We did a, um, a baby shower in Raleigh. We did a baby shower in Winston. And then what really put us on the map was the Brunt CLT. So we put a networking event together. Yep. Hey, I wasn't there. Have you seen his Instagram? Exactly. Shout out to the Brunson CLT, Keenan and it, Josh. It, 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 it went down. Nothing else was in the city. And they pulled it off. You got you to gotta realize, Charlotte throws a lot of parties. He did a networking event that looked like a party that was a networking event. Okay, like, the concept behind that, you really got to think outside the box like that. You know, most people want to have parties. He said, no, let's do some networking and have some dope music. Let's let, let put some, you know, the the, uh, the black lights on and stuff like that. People walking around having a good time, having a drink or whatever. But they still can come up to these vendors. They can still come up to whoever's doing whatever, pass out business cards. They ain't all about getting, getting the number, about, you know, trying to take something home. It might be about getting the number to get some business going. And the crazy part is the people that were at the brunch still network with one another. So the people that you know, I may not know, but us, the fact that we're networking allows you to to meet new people and build your brand. And that was the premise of it, was to network and build contacts and build connects. Genius. Gen- so I'm mad I didn't make it. No worries. No. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be at the next one. Juneteenth. Juneteenth next year. I think I'm going to be at the one that's going to be at State. Is it homecoming next year? Yes, you get in the homecoming next Winston year. Winston Sam State's homecoming. I'm going to be out there. Hey, he understands it. 100%. There you go. 
definitely could see. Man, hey, that was smart. That was, was. smart. Um, and shout out to uh, B Notes from ninety seven point nine. He was our host. Shout out to DJ Trails, Avery Girl's favorite DJ. Tr- hey, Trail Trails been killing the game right now. Murder, homicide. I'm telling you, killing the game. Killing the game. Definitely. Man. He uh, DJ's at NC State. I mean, Trails on fire. Right now. Shout out to my, that's my guy. That's hey. my guy. Hey, hey, you got it. Definitely. Let's get these last two beers down, Let's and then God, I know you got you. Got, he has to leave. That is true. He has to get to more work. That is true. The money, the the, the clock is ticking. That so is true. So we gotta get these last two beers down. Time is money. Hey, there you go. So <laughs> I'm gonna do it like this. October fans, this is what you had. Okay. And then this is a Bourbon Bell Age Stout, pumpkin stout. So I'm just gonna taste this one. Okay. Excuse me. Now, I had a lot of Oktoberfest ever since October 1st. A lot of people have been dropping. Feeling Fish, Wise Man, um, uh, South End Brewing. If you don't know, I just did South End Brewing's first ever uh, podcast um, yesterday. They're not even officially open to November 1st. Mm. I got in there. No kind of brew crew. NC Brew Crew got in there. And we review beer with the owner. Not even open yet. That's major. Come on. That's major. The other, the other, um, down there in San Ray Brewing, three days before they even released it to the public, guess who got to taste out their Oktoberfest? This dude. Come on now. That's crazy. NC Brew Crew, we're doing it. <laughs> so, I'm, so I'm going to taste this, I'm going to taste this, and then want to finish up the stories with uh, Pop Up Podcast. And then, hey, that's what it's going to be. Let's go. Bananas already. I smell. <laughs> I smell some banana. <laughs> I don't know what. Because he, he said it was sweet, right? Yes. It has like a little bit of a sweet note to it, right? It does. First thing I smelled was bananas off rip. Mm. <laughs> Damn, that's right. Okay. We are tasting. This is the beer condensor right here, man. Mm. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Here we go. Now, drum roll, please. Last Fuck one yeah. was a 3.5. No, that's that's 4. Point, damn, that's 4.75. 4.75. There we go. You heard it from me first. Promise me, promise me, uh, AC Brew Crew. You heard it. You heard it. But it doesn't... Is it lacking something? No, it's not. It's light though. It's it's it's. I, th- I think I know what it is. It's not a traditional. It doesn't taste like it's a traditional Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest. Okay. So it's like they they they, because you can definitely tell it's an Oktoberfest, but the way that they presented it, it is it's lighter. Okay. It doesn't have that real like. Okay, this is Oktoberfest. Oh, this is Time out. Can I say something right quick? Yeah, go ahead. I went to Boston last month. No, no, no. Early this month. First uh-huh. weekend in October. My cousin lives in Boston. Well, Providence area. And he told me, he said, cousin, Oktoberfest hit different in, 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 in Boston. Yeah. Because it, it's, it's around that area. And it does hit different. It does. Shout, shout out to my cousin Lee. Wait, wait. Could you taste that when you were drinking it? Like, uh, it's like, a, it, it, it's... it's not missing something. Yeah, but it's not as... It's not, but yeah. It doesn't have that... Mm. And that's what I'm saying. It's like, now it's good. It's real good. I'm going to be real. It, it's not a traditional Oktoberfest. But it's a goddamn good beer. Sorry to say it's that bad. But it just is. If the truth got to be told, he got to tell it. 4.75 <laughs> right there. 4.75. Yo. Hmm. Here we go. Let me get this last one in. We're going to finish up. And then that's going to be the end of the Super Mega NC Brew Crew Times pop up podcast. So, Bourbon Barrel Age Pumpkin Stout. I don't like pumpkin like that. It's dark too. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a stout. Yeah. It's a, this is like a Guinness. Oh, yeah. Guinness. Yeah, Guinness. So, so, so it's hitting. I know that. It's hitting. And it's Bourbon Barrel Age. Bourbon Barrel Aged. Mm. So, you know the alcohol uh, content is going to be a little higher. A little strong to it. That's that 
<clears throat> it is. Cause they let me clear my throat. Hey, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you got to smell it again. No, that smells like a shot. So we went from 3.5, 3.5 to 4.75. Let's see what we got now. That woo, it smells boozy. Okay. Some people don't like that. If you're gonna drink a bourbon barrel aged or okay. anything that's barrel aged, you're going to smell that booziness in it. But surprisingly, sometimes it doesn't happen like that. It okay. tastes smooth. It all depends on the balance. So let's see about the balance in this one. Please educate me right now. I didn't even know that. Hey, hey, hey. I'm just. I'm just a dude who likes to drink beer sometimes. <laughs> you tried to win the condensor, man. I'm just saying, pick his up. <laughs> well, yeah, you, you you see what they put this in yeah, versus yeah. everything else. That is true. Let me go ahead and just pick you up. <laughs> Look, let's level up. Let's level up. Pinkies. It's levels to this beer drinking, man. There you go. That pinky's out. Let's go. <laughs> we got. We got. Let's be honest here. That's nice. I mean, I'm not going to say it's a wow factor. Okay. I'm not. Okay. And, and, and honestly, it could just be about the pumpkin. You know, it could be about the pumpkin. But I will say this. I don't really taste the pumpkin in there like that. Okay. But that could be why it's not the wow factor. Just because of my taste buds, my okay. palate. Maybe that canceled everything out. So you can taste it. You know, it's like, it's a good, deep, strong beer. But it's like, it just feels a little flat to me. Okay. So, you know what? I don't even have to say it. It's a nice winner. Four. The NC Brew Crew seal of approval goes to Oktoberfest. Hey, they did this. It's nothing like October. Hey, shout out to Drake today, too. Today's his birthday. Huh? Shout out to Drake. He's OVO, October's very own. Nothing like Oktoberfest. Because we're talking about October. There you go. Okay, there you go. Because I'm not about to say <laughs> like, Hey, I'm, I, I'm Team OVO. I can't, I, I'll, yesterday was actually my birthday, October 23rd. It, it is. It was, yes. You can vouch for it. I'm just saying. So, hey, it Sorry. is his birthday. 20, uh, 23rd, yesterday. No, I'm saying 33? Yes, 33. There you go. There you go. Yes, sir. So, let everybody know where they can find you at. Okay. Let everybody know how they can get some of your services. 100%. And, yeah, it, look, let's end this. Let's just end this because I know he got to get back to the money. I do. I do. And I got to definitely give out my, my – well, let's, let's talk about the event plan inside first. Yeah, go ahead. So, we're going to shoot this. We're going to wrap this up real quick. DreamView does anything as far as event planning. We do, like I said, baby showers. We do weddings. We do 50th birthday parties. We do uh, glow in the dark parties, sweet 16s. You name it, DreamView does it. Because our mantra is, if you dream it, we bring it to life. So, our next event, as far as event planning, is November the 16th, outside of the Winston Seven Chronicle, brought to you by Blackshaw Enterprises, has hired DreamU. To do really? a charity event, so November sixteenth. Really? Yes, sir. From ten a.m. to um, one p.m., we're giving out large bags for Thanksgiving, and they're going to have um, uh, Cornish in yams, all kind of Thanksgiving goodies that people can eat. Gotcha. Um, they're going to have shirts in there, and the bag is reusable. There so you you're getting all that in one, and and all we're, all we're asking for you to do is is to reach out to people, whoever sees this podcast, tell them to come to the Winston Seven Chronicle, November the sixteenth. Dream you is in the building. We're there, giving out to the community. It's a charity event, Black Shard, powered by Black Shard Enterprises. Okay, so moving to the second part. Shout out to my marketing crew. I market several different clients. So what Dream You does on social media is we build your brand via LinkedIn, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook. And that's what we do. So any branding and marketing needs, DreamU is willing to do that. So I'm going to shout out a couple clients right now. And then we're going to wrap this thing on up. So shout out to Simply Liz. She's my acting client. Um, how you follow her is M-I- I mean, S-I-M-P-L-E-E underscore Liz. 
Um, shout out to the Brunt CLT. So it literally says how it's said, the Brunt CLT underscore. And all these pages I'm mentioning, mm -hmm. I'm going I'm to follow you guys on. So you'll mm -hmm. get a guaranteed follow from me. Shouts out to Adulting with a Purpose. I'm going to meet up with her right now. So it's That's literally it. Adulting underscore with underscore a underscore purpose. And last but not least, shouts out to uh, my my um, my uh, personal trainer, D. And you follow him on more J's, J-A-Y-S underscore than MJ. So I actually like what that is. I'm yeah. not. Just, you know why? Remember, I'm in beer too now. <laughs> so me really caring about stuff <laughs> that that trend has gone gone a little bit. Like all I care about is just a good story. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> sidebar: When you drink any alcohol, it affects your cerebellum, the high, your higher level of thinking. I just want you guys to know that. <laughs> no, no. Well, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. So okay, my, okay. my not care mode is okay. just kicking in. Oh, so what level is it? You're not. I don't give a more. Okay. No, I just don't like. As far as me like trying to be like, okay, why is he come up with that? Well, I don't care. That's his. That's his stuff. Hundred percent. So okay. that's that's his. He could call himself whatever he wanted to. Don't ask me like, hey, why do you think I? You know, why do you think I did that? No, he's at that level. So we're going to wrap this up very quick to show you how to contact Dream You. Definitely. So our Instagram page is literally Dream You, E-M, which it stands for Event Planning and Marketing 2018. Um, that is our Instagram page. If you want to find us on Facebook, we have a fan page, a uh, group page. It's Dream You Event Planning and Marketing. That's it. Um, and same thing with our Gmail. Dream You, E-M. The only difference is 2018 at gmail.com. There you go. And I'm not going to put my number out here, but you can find me. We have links of how to find my number if you really want anything else. Um, and those the way, that's the way to find Dream You. Hey. Hey, we did it. You, he, He's always innovative. And guess what? He did it. He innovated again with my brand because you had the first ever mega podcast which is the pop up podcast times the NC Brew Crew. Another one. Hey, hey, this, hey, 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 he's doing it. All, all I do is just do some, I don't, just record some stuff. I'm only do 27 today. But I mean, but whatever. But you can't leave here without saying this. We, we got to tell him about this, and then we can wrap it up. You sure? Of course. Well, let's go ahead and do some more shameless plugs. Marketing, this is what I do. <laughs> You seen that online? You seen that online? Now you know what's about to happen. Promise Mangum, Times, the SoK Sports Syndicate presents North Carolina Future of Sports. Hey, it's happening November 14th down at Bailey Park in Venture Cafe, uh, Turbo Hall, that place. If you don't know where it is, hey, guess what? You can Google it because it is live. If you're an entrepreneur, you need to come out. There. But we have four. Very awesome speakers that are going to be, pre be presenting. Uh, Takara Tatum, she's the head coach of the women's basketball at Piedmont International University. Navajo, he is a Winston-Salem gamer and esports person. Very cool dude. Russell Morgan, hey, you all know who Russ is. He's the commissioner of Showcase Sports Syndicate. Oh, side note. $5,000 is on the line November 29th. We are hosting the fried turkey. I hope I said this right. The Southern Fried Turkey Bowl 2019. That's what it is. The Southern Fried Turkey Bowl 2019. I have a lot of confidence in some of these teams that are already signed up. Ooh. Somebody hit me up and was like, Yo, my homeboys from D.C. want to get down here and see what's up. They want the ball. This this ain't no joke. They want the ball. They ready. The, five stacks is on the line. So you about to give me? Hey, you about to have me get ready to get a team together? I play ball. You can't. Shout out to Carver High School. No, you can't. This is this is is an open invitation for anybody who wants to uh, put together a team 
It's five sets. Okay. Your, t- ten people, I think that's four, like, because uh, entry fee is 500 But at ten people, that's what, $50 a pop? You get, so you put up 50 you can win 500 And you have to do your athletic ability to win that. Your God-given ability. There there, you go. This ain't no, like, oh, you know, the numbers or whatever. This has to happen based on your athletic ability. We are not playing around here. And keep in mind that it's Christmas, so you know you want extra Christmas money. We, it's up there. To support a good organization, a good cause. I mean, I'm just saying. Hey. And have fun doing something you like to do. Hey, hey, it's amazing. 100%. It's amazing. We're, we're, hey, between him and me, I think the triad is going to be taking over. 100%. That's it. Promise Mango, Pop Up Podcast, and Promise Mango, NC Brew Crew. Hey. The extra large dish. Go hard or go home. That's all I gotta say. Pause y'all in. Peace.